Welcome to the World News on Myanmar International. I'm Randolph Janes. Leading the news, the bodies of four people killed in a military air crash arrived in Santiago. Chile's government said all 21 people aboard a military aircraft that crashed into the Pacific Ocean off the remote Juan Fernandez Islands perished. Chilean rescuers and fishermen found four bodies and aircraft wreckage early on Saturday after the Air Force plane lost contact off the remote Juan Fernandez Islands. The CASA 212 military plane tried twice to land before it went missing as heavy winds and sporadic rains hit the area. Among the passengers were five TV and national television staff members, including well-known presenter Felipe Camiroaga. And in the United States, heavy rain and strong winds battered La Force Parish in southern Louisiana as Tropical Storm Lee crawled its way along the Gulf Coast late on Saturday evening. Storm winds packing speeds of 50 miles per hour pushed the Gulf waters inland, dumping heavy rain and causing minor flooding throughout the region. Lee was forecast to dump up to 20 inches of rain over the next few days to southeast Louisiana, including the low-lying city of New Orleans, the National Hurricane Center said. Next up in Belgium, beer lovers are getting together in Brussels to tickle their taste buds at the 13th Belgian Beer Weekend. The three-day festival which is taking place at the historic Grand Palace showcases the best of Belgian breweries have to offer. Brewers hope to drum up further business this weekend at the Belgian Beer Weekend, a sort of mini Oktoberfest featuring 48 breweries and more than 350 beers. Beer is very important in Belgium. It's uh, one of its major products. We have a lot of beers and we have the best beers in the world. Jankens claims that Belgium is the beer capital of the world. It's a culture of uh, three, four, five hundred years. And there has been a specialization, specialization, specialization again, which makes that uh, everybody who is brewing beer in Belgium has the art to brew beer in Belgium. And we have so many different types of beers in Belgium that we can really say that Belgium is the beer country of the world. Belgium has a tradition of beer making and has about 450 varieties of beer. Sonakie, CCTV. In the sports scene, debut World Championships Athletics Meet continues to bring out the best of the world. And now let's take a look at the track and field. CCTV has more. There was nothing sluggish about Bulk's 200 meter display. Bulk. After bursting out of the blocks, he surged to the front. He stayed there. He took the title in 19.4 seconds. That's his fourth fast 200 meters in history. Walter Dix of the United States won his second sprint silver to take uh, it in 19.7 seconds. Well, Frenchman Christophe Lemaitre earned the bronze. Sally Pearson had been threatening something very special in the 100 meter hurdles this week, and she would break the championship record, but not the world record. She would post 12.28 seconds, that's the fastest time, or the fastest time since 1992. American Danielle Struthers would take the silver ahead of the case with Don Harper, both of them given the same time at 12.47 seconds. The United States won the women's four by 400 meter relay final with a time of 3 minutes, 18.09 seconds, and that gave Allison Felix a women's record seventh world championship gold medal. And Anna Chicharov of Russia won the gold medal in the women's high jump. She cleared a height of 2.03 meters. Two-time defending champion Blanca Blasic of Croatia took the silver. She cleared the same height that she would lose on the countback. And Asbel Kiprop was the fastest in the men's 1,500 meters. He won in the time of 3 minutes, 35.69 seconds. And that gives Kenya its sixth gold medal of the World Championships. 
And Matthias Fizorda of Germany would upset the favorite Andreas Borkelsen of Norway to win the men's javelin. His opening throw of 86.27 meters is good enough to give him the title. Let's have the updates at the U.S. Open. Top seed Novak Djokovic continued his irresistible move through the event with a straight sets victory over Russian Nikolai Davidenko on Saturday to reach the round of 16 at Flushing Meadows. The Serb improved his sensational 2011 record to 62 with a victory over the 30-year-old Davidenko in New York. Joe Wilfred Sunga of France secured a straight sets victory over Saint Fernando Verdasco, winning 6-3, 7-5, 6-4. Argentine Juan Monaco will play Roger Federer in the round of 16 after coming from a set down to beat Tommy Haas of Germany. Former French Open champion Anna Ivanovic of Serbia defeated American wildcard Sloane Stephens and will next face Serena Williams. On the second round of Deutsche Bank Championship, Charles Schwartzel joined Bubba Watson and Australia's Adam Scott in a three-way tie for the lead at the halfway stage on Saturday. Watson grabbed the early clubhouse lead when he shot a 64 to reach 10 under and was then joined by Schwartzel of South Africa and Scott, the joint runner-up at Augusta this year in the afternoon. The trio ended the day one shot ahead of Brand Snedeker, who aced the par 3 16th hole and two clear of Nick Watney. Five players, including Ernie Els, were bunched together at 7 under on a condensed leaderboard. Thank you for watching. I'm Randolph Jamias. More news coming up. Please stay with us.